Well, hello. I decided to do something differently because there have been some things that has been different for me this year and I wasn't even going to release a new episode because of these challenges I've been going through. But, but with the help of a few supportive people that are in my circle, they are helping me get through these different challenges I'm going through, which is why I decided to release my sixth episode. And I thought about it and I said, I have that perfect episode. And that episode, I said, hmm, I'm going to share what my challenges I'm going through right now, what I've been doing, but what is more important is who are those impactful people that I'm around that's helping me get through this? Because the focus shouldn't be more so the problem. The focus and the energy should be more so the solutions to the problems. So with the help of supportive people, I'm getting through these different challenges because I'm still dealing with a lot of them and I'm sharing that with you all, but I'm really focusing more so on who are those people that are helping me get through these challenges. And that leads me to that sixth episode of titled Lean On Your Team. And I also wanted to propose that question to you all as to do you have people that you identified as supportive and they help you through things, whether it's celebrating with you, but and that's great, of course, because that's important. And what's even more important is when things are not so good as well. Who are those people that are on your team? So that's what I talk about. I leave a snippet so you can check it out. Listen to this snippet. I'm about to let you listen to it. And, um, but also check out that full episode. You can check it out on my blog at amitsamedia.com. It's already out there. Check it out, that full episode. You can also check it out if you have Spotify, Stitcher, Instagram, Google Play, iHeartRadio. The full episode is on there. Please subscribe. Type in Social but Healing. Subscribe to it. Please rate it as well. Please share it. But also let me know who are those people that are on your team so we can help one another. And for those of you that realize you don't have anyone on your team or you feel as though you may need some more people, supportive people, I have the perfect solution for you because I'm going through it myself. So I have the perfect solution and I give that to you as well on the episode. So check it out. And um, yeah. I have several different products online because I need to make sure I keep this platform going. I don't pocket any of the money. Any purchases you make, I put it right back into growing this platform, maintaining it, keeping up with everything from the website to keeping these episodes on those different platforms for you all to check it out to make it easier for you all. So please support as well. This is one of many. I have a couple of books as well. Different types of shirts for men and women too. So there's different ones. Please check it out. It's on the website. And let me know what you think about the episode. So here's a snippet for you. Go ahead and check it out. Check out that full episode as well and share it because we all need it. We all have challenges. No one's perfect. That's not even the key. The key is to learn how to heal, to learn how to live healthy, the right way. So this is what it's about. Check it out. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to hear it. I once heard a saying that life has many ways of testing our will, either by having nothing happen at all or by having everything happen all at once. Yes, I've been frustrated. I've been sad, tired, 
confused, irritated. I was also angry that not many people has been checking up on me to see how I'm doing. Most of the messages, calls, and visits were of people asking for favors from me or wanting to share their problems as if I didn't have enough to deal with of my own. I mean, duh, us strong people need to be checked on too. We sometimes do so much for others and until we need some emotional support is when we may realize it's not as easy for us to receive it for ourselves. Over the years, I had a few friendships that I see as a representation of the different stages in my life. These friends serve different purposes and helped me develop in various ways as it allowed me to express more of who I'm becoming. I know I'm not going to always get it right, but as long as I continue to have faith in myself and surround myself around people who are willing to listen, to know what I need support in, I know I'll be okay. There is a purpose for everyone you meet. Some people come in your life to test you, some to use you, and some to bring out the very best in you. <laughs>